And he was gone late. You know, I had quit the prison. Um, I could tell things were getting worse at home. And um, he told me. And, you know, there for a while, it, I mean, he'd be gone for days on end and nights. And I wouldn't see him. Cell phone. Only way I'd hear from him. And what did you try it and say? Did you know the day that there could be dangers with that? Absolutely. And what did you try and stop him? What? I tried to stop him. We had a video camera, and I used to tell him, "Sit down and record a message, because if you don't come home, I'm not going to be the one to break your kid's heart." Um, but when you're high, that doesn't register. And it's never going to happen to me, and I'm never going to get caught. And, of course, the burns, that was just something else, you know. But it's never going to happen to me. And then it was brought into the home. Right. Uh, when, did you, when did you find out that he was cooking in the home? I, I knew he was. That was the only way he was home, because other than that, he wasn't home. So it's almost the lesser of two evils. You either ha I either have him home, home and, and know he's okay, or I have him gone and don't know if he's dead or alive. So tell me a little bit about that night in June. Was it a normal evening? We had been fighting. And basically, I had kicked everybody out. And um, for the longest time, it was just him and I. And then one of his friends showed up, or not friend. And um, they went to the basement. And about 45 minutes later, I heard the most god awful scream that you don't ever want to hear. Do you think someone was getting murdered in your house? You no, I knew instant. Instantly it was bad. I, I, I knew it was bad. Um, and I didn't even look at him or see what was going on in the basement. I went running for the kids. So... Because um, were they in bed at the time? or mm -hmm. Okay. And um, got them out and went around back and he was still on fire. So when you, you got the kids out of the house and you went to see him... I went around the back of the house to see if he had come out. Because if he hadn't come out after I got the kids, I wouldn't have went back in. But he was in the backyard running around. And what did you see? Flames shooting off of his back. Um, after we got those out, it was skin dripping. It's bad. And that's... I don't think people realize... What what happens to you when you're on fire? Right, you melt like a candle. Candle wax. So what is your next thought? I mean, you see your husband, he's beat, you know he's badly burned. What, what do you do? Because in the back of your mind, do you think, holy crap, the meth lab blew up. How are we going to take him to the hospital and explain what happened to him? I didn't even care. Okay. I mean, I was, I wanted it to be, I didn't want him to get burned. That, that's Right, right, right. But I wanted it to be over. I mean, that's what we had thought about that day. And, um, yeah, you know, the house was smoking. It wasn't on fire. There wasn't really an explosion. It was just him that caught fire. Um, but I wanted it to be over. And a neighbor just so happened to be walking by, and she took the kids, and he was in shock and he took off walking. I don't know what he was doing, but I had to chase him and, and get him in the vehicle. I mean, you know, the kids were out. That was all that mattered. He was going to the hospital. So you you go to the hospital and then what happens? I just dropped him off and I came back to where my kids were. I didn't even get out. And were, were you angry? No. Or did, were you not even I, at I that was point scared, yet? I think. I didn't know if he was going to live. Um, like all the material things, that's all replaceable. I didn't even really care. I mean, it was my home. But I didn't care. 
you know, I had the kids out, and he was at least at the hospital. That, that was the best that I could do for him at that time. Um, and I knew I was going to jail. That was okay. But I was going back to my kids first. And did, your, did any of the kids see what happened, see what went on? Yep. And did the, the, two, the two older ones... Did they have there was the two older ones and a baby at that time, which he don't. Yeah, he doesn't don't remember. remember what happened. Uh -huh. but the two, the two older ones do. Mm -hmm. um, when you went back to them, did they ask you what, what was going on? Or no, they they never ask anything. Um, they thought Dad was working on the furnace and that the furnace blew up. Um, our furnace had been broke down, and it was still really cool in June, and um, they, they thought Dad was down there working on the furnace, and that's what happened, and, you know, I just kind of explained to him that things went bad, and um, they needed to be really good, and that was that. At that point, were you, were you scared that you were going to lose them? I knew I was going to lose them. It was never a matter of if. But it wasn't going to be something where I was going to lose them forever. Were you, I would think if I was in your shoes, I would be, sh I would be angry. I would be angry at the situation. I was. But in so many ways, I was so glad it was over. Like, my life is chaotic anyways. I mean, you know, with the four kids now. And I don't even know how I did it. I really don't. I mean, it's a crazy lifestyle. And... and in so many ways, I was so glad it was over. Because from, from that time, you know, you, you said, and he even says, none of this would have happened if I had listened to my wife that day and just not done it. He goes, because we had been arguing about it. Yeah. And so at, the, for, at that point, were you still using or were you not using or? Yeah, I was. Okay. Had you at any point during that time wanted to get off it? Absolutely. Okay. And you just couldn't or? I mean, I could have. I could have got off of it and left him, but I was scared that something bad was going to happen. And, you know, if I wasn't there, he would have died. Plain and simple. I mean, because if I wasn't there to drive him to the hospital, the guy that was there took off running and left him with flames, so I was scared that it was going to happen and couldn't just leave him. So, you know, at that point, when do you find out he has survived all this? He was touch and go for a long time. I mean, in jail, they kept me in a holding cell just Did they take you to jail that night? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, it was actually like 1 o'clock in the morning, okay. but... Okay. Um, Had you ever been to jail before? Uh-uh. I was always on the other side. How is that? It's wild. Because you have a lot of time to think, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you know, and I didn't know where my kids were. Didn't know if he was alive or dead. 